Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to download Google Chrome's offline installer on your Windows computer. So, while Google Chrome is one of the most popular web browsers, they typically will offer it via an online web installer when you first go about downloading it. So, if you wanted to download and install that method, you would need to be able to connect to the Google servers with an internet connection. So, if for some reason you wanted to transfer Google Chrome to another device, maybe the browser is not working properly, or you just wanted to have it around in your toolkit, this tutorial will be for you. So, I'm going to have a link to this page in the description of the video here. You notice the URL up at the top says standalone equals one and it is a Chrome domain, it's google.com, the makers of Google Chrome. So I'm just going to select download Chrome right here. You don't have to keep this box checked, but I'm going to left click on accept and install. So when you do that, you notice that the download is actually pretty big here, it's about 50 megabytes, which honestly isn't that big, but for most people who are familiar with web-based installers, it looks kind of big. So once it's downloaded, if we do show all, and we can see that it's currently downloading at the moment. So I'm going to wait for this thing to finish downloading here just to show you guys that we do have an individual file that we will be able to move about the computer. If you want to put it on a flash drive or something, you're more than welcome to do that. So it gives you many different options to go about downloading and installing the browser, more flexible to what you're looking to accomplish. So once it's done, just show in folder. And you can see we actually have the standalone setup file right here. So you go about copying, pasting, whatever you want to do with it, and that should be about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.